What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. Zombie fans, we are about to see the most exciting installment in the franchise. The arrival of vampires was indicated at the end of Zombies 3, and now rumor has it that Zombies 4 would be titled Zombies vs. Vampires. How awesome is that? Mermaids are also supposed to appear in the potential project. Without further ado, here is some exciting news about Zombies 4. Enjoy the video and the spoilers. What a perfect place to call home. Now I'm fine. I'm fine. I just won. Proud mothership. I love you kids. Okay, I know a lot of you are confused right now because Disney is yet to announce Zombies 4 and they are still considering the idea of making yet another continuation. But when you look at how much money the franchise has made so far, you'll realize that it's just a matter of time until we get a continuation of some kind. This project might happen in the form of a sequel, aka a direct continuation. A prequel is already in the works, but this project will be animated. If we're being honest, we'd I'd rather watch a live action film in which we'll see the perfectly chosen cast ensemble again. Animated projects are great as well and we'd love to see dozens of them, but let's face it, the cast members in the franchise are basically the reason why we're so obsessed with zombies. For now, however, Zombies 3 serves as a final chapter for Addison, Zed, and their fellow Seabrook residents. I believe you all saw the third installment and you know that the arrival of aliens plays a key role in it. Another big storyline in the third film is Addison's real identity. Thankfully, you she discovered what truly is, meaning that the storyline that led the franchise is finally over with Addison discovering that she is an alien. There are some fans theorizing that Addison is something else rather than an alien because they found some plot holes that prove Zombies 4 will again explore her true identity. This theory sounds reliable once you think about it. We'll talk about that a bit later on in the video. Back when the third installment was announced, it was called the third and final film by Disney. Again, we have no reason to worry because this is one of the the biggest and most successful Disney franchises. And when it comes to Disney, you'll never know when a project really ends. Does the third film leave space for yet another continuation? Of course it does! So could Zombies 4 happen? Yes, but again, Disney wants its sequels to be perfect so they'll most likely spend years until they come up with a proper story for Zombies 4. The third film starts off with Zed and Addison focusing on some big goals, but both of them are preparing to go to college, with Zed setting his goal on becoming the first ever zombie to go to Mountain College. That is a big deal, obviously, because zombies are yet to be given the right to go to college so when Zed gets into Mountain College, the door would open for his fellow zombie residents. This this is a big deal, obviously, because zombies are yet to be given the right to go to college. So, when Zed gets into Mountain College, the door would open for his fellow zombies' residents as well. Something weird happens when a group of aliens arrives in Seabrook. The aliens are apparently looking for the coordinates of, as they say, their perfect home. They went on this journey after the destruction of their home planet. The planet they are now looking for is called Utopia. As they say, someone who landed here decades earlier left a message for them saying that the coordinates to their perfect home home are hidden in the most precious thing in Seabrook. The group of aliens decide to help Zed with his application for college, but they ask him and Addison to help them fix the message that the big plot twist follows. Addison's grandmother, Angie, left them. What does this mean? Well, if Angie was an alien, Addison is an alien as well. As explained in the film, her grandmother fell in love with a human called Eli. She went to Seabrook High and this is when her obsession with cheerleading began. Angie created the cheer off trophy, the Seabrook Cup. That is why the aliens believe the coordinates are hidden in the Seabrook Cup. Addison wins the Seabrook Cup, but there's no coordinates hidden in it. So, what is the most precious thing in Seabrook? Well, since Addison is an alien and her grandma was an alien herself, Addison might be the most precious thing after all. This is confirmed during a conversation between Addison and her mother when her mother tells her that her grandmother always called you the most precious thing. She also said something about you needing to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Addison's DNA has the coordinates to Utopia, but there is one tiny bit of a problem. You see, in order for the aliens to arrive in Utopia, Addison has to go with them, which would mean she has to leave everything behind in order to take her fellow aliens to the planet. Addison and Zed separate, and she leaves her plans for college and basically her life in Seabrook in order to take the aliens to Utopia. On the day of her graduation, 
Addison explains that maybe her grandmother referred to Seabrook as Utopia, and that maybe they should stay there. So instead of going to Utopia, they beam back down to Seabrook to live a peaceful life. The third film ends with cheerleaders, zombies, werewolves, aliens, mermaids, and vampires living in harmony together. Zed is accepted into Mountain College, and it looks like he and his loved one are ahead of a bright future together. No. Here's the thing. There were vampires and mermaids by the end of the third installment, which only proves that Disney wants to leave space for yet another continuation. Rumor has it that they're already working on one, one that'll focus on vampires and their arrival in Seabrook. Vampires are a bit of a complicated species, meaning that they could cause several problems in the now peaceful town, so a film called Vampires vs. Zombies would make a great story. This film would also explore more about Zed and Addison's future. I mean, are they still together? Did they get married? There are several questions we didn't an answer to, and these questions could only be answered if Disney makes another film! Milo Mannheim told Hollywood Life that the third film leaves the door open for a fourth. But according to him, it also does a really good job of wrapping the franchise up as well. When he appeared on Good Morning America, he said he was going to have to see about Zombies 4, as they'll have to see if you guys like Zombies 3 first, and then they can decide. Well guys, do you like Zombies 3? Do you think the franchise deserves to go beyond its third installment? Because I do. I seriously think this is one of the rarest projects that have the potential of making more than just three movies. New species could always arrive at Seabrook, meaning that the stories are limitless here. With a fourth film that could go in any direction while creating a wonderful continuation with fans discovering more about the fan favorite couple. This means that fans shouldn't lose hope. There's another thing as well. You see, Zombies 3 is the first of the films to be released exclusively on Disney Plus, meaning that a bigger amount of people will watch this this installment. Even though a fourth film is yet to be confirmed, Disney revealed that an animated TV show inspired by the series called Zombies, the reanimated series, is in the works. We don't know much about it yet, but we do know that the project will feature Zed, Addison, Eliza, Willa, and the entire Seabrook crew. Per its synopsis, this gang may have figured out each other, but they haven't quite figured out how to survive high school. So, we should prepare for more musical fun and new friends as Seabrook becomes the number one destination for all kinds of mythical monsters looking for a fresh start. Disney also confirmed that this means some pretty wild adventures, from the cafeteria to the football field, because sometimes the scariest thing you have to face his high school. The end of the synopsis reads, You need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. Since Zed and Addison graduated already, this project will serve as a prequel. See you in the next video.